Hello, this is Justin Okraho from Scatterwork to talk about how to plan and fund your PMP study. Just to say that we're a company that provides consulting, coaching and training um, to support people to deliver their priority initiatives. Um, the team is spread out over several countries and we have a range of uh, skills um, which are relevant to project management. Um, we offer two types of support. One of them is project coaching, where we work with you on your actual project so that it delivers. Um, it can help, of course, to have individuals who have project training. And uh, we offer, under both of these headings, um, support services. Uh, there are a lot of sectors that we have supported over the years, but these are the main ones. And we work from uh, SME size small companies right up to some of the more international um, blue chip companies. And we've worked in several parts of the world. So just to remind us, a project is something that delivers a thing, a service or a change of state. And uh, different words are used for this program, engagement, initiative, scheme, venture, what have you. And uh, there may be other words that are in there, but we're talking about the things where you have to do something. And when it's finished, you, you hand it over and it's one off. And because of that, it takes a lot maybe of planning. Here are some examples that we've had from clients. Um, upgrade a data quality in a database or optimize a supply chain to minimize carbon footprint and so on. So we're going to look at what is PMP, the, uh, what should I look for in a training company, where can I find the time to study and where can I get the money? So PMP is the, the, the most trusted and accepted project management certification throughout the world. Um, and it covers both agile and predictive project management uh, approaches. Uh, research says that uh, employers are going to need literally millions of project-oriented roles over the coming years. And even now, there are well over a million holders of the PMP. And there are also statistics from the PMI to show that people who hold PMP actually get higher salaries than those who don't. Just as a, an indication here from LinkedIn, a couple of months back, uh, it identified 8,462 jobs in EMEA, in other words, in, in Europe, Middle East and Africa on that particular day, thousands of jobs. So the exam requirements, there are different combinations, but the, the, uh, one of them is that you have a college degree, four and a half thousand hours of managing projects and 35 contact hours of study or you can have the CAPA exam. So the PMP exam format is 180 questions. Um, it takes uh, 230 minutes or a couple of breaks in the middle. And at the end, you get a thing that either says pass or fail. And it also gives you an indication of how you did in each um, section. Now you can do the exam either at a testing center by Pearson View, which is what I would recommend because then they look after the security. Basically, they want to know who is doing the exam. You can do it from home, which was um, introduced during the COVID times, but you take the responsibility uh, for the security. And for example, they want to be quite sure nobody is within whispering distance of you and you have to show under the table with your camera. And uh, if they hear any noises at all, they say, well, maybe somebody is nearby uh, and they cut you off. So you can take either, but my, my view is that the testing center is a better deal if you can do it that way. So what do we look for? Well, we look for a company that has an excellent record of success. Um, you want a company that gives you direct access to the trainers for your queries. This is to save study time. And it should streamline also the administration. Some of the admin is a little bit um, uh, awkward, should we say. Uh, you know, you have to log on and then you have to pay an extra amount for the exam and things like that. And um, if you've got some process that streamlines that, that can be very valuable, again, to save your time and effort. What Scatterwork gives you uh, is, is uh, obviously matches all of these things here. And if you look at scatterwork.com, you'll find all the details. Um, so a typical uh, study format is going to be a five-hour, uh, five-day instructor-led workshop or something equivalent. So it could be five days spread out or 10 half days or something like that, or it could be customized, of course for in-house companies. And then you need full access to all the materials and uh, uh, videos and handbooks and all the rest of it. And in particular of an exam simulator um, so that you can see where you're going because passing PMI or PMP, um, it depends on knowing the stuff, but also doing it in, in the time uh, given. 
So it takes a bit of exam practice as well as knowing the content. And uh, our experience is that people can get to that level, to a suitable level to do the exam in something like two to eight weeks. Two weeks if you have nothing else to do and you're between jobs or something like that. And eight weeks if you're fitting it in and around ordinary, ordinary work is typical. So where can I find the time? Well, the uh, statistics show uh, that you probably need three or four times as much time as the actual course itself. So say, um, so if a course takes a week, you, you need an equivalent of at least three weeks, um, one of which is the course. Um, but you've still got to find the equivalent of two weeks um, uh, somewhere else. So let's say um, you've got to find 70 hours and you say, well, I'm going to do nine hours a week for eight weeks. I mean, it can be done. Um, one evening, maybe a four hour and, a, and a, a Saturday morning or something like that. Um, you need support from the people you live with to do something like that. Um, but if you do that uh, uh, and then you can do the um, dummy exam and get a reliable, let's say, 75 percent, then you're probably ready to do the exam. Um, you might. Here's another way you could do it. You could get a day of paid study leave a week. You know, you, you could make the case to your employer and say, look, I'm, you know, it's good for you too. And with a bit of luck, they might also pay for it. But if you could get, say, a day a week to study, that would make things much easier. Or maybe half the time uh, from study leave, you know, a half day a week or something like that. And then you shave off on other things that you would be doing in life uh, just for the period of getting the exam. So, or you could take all the time just by stopping your, your nine hours worth of, of, of other things, but that can be hard, of course. So other time-saving ideas, you could make it, um, a deal with your nearest and dearest to hold you to the study time. Another thing you could do is make sure you don't get stuck on a topic. If you get stuck, if you have access to the trainers, you just say, I can't understand it, explain that to me. And that can save a lot of time. And then um, find there are plenty of dummy exams on the internet and you can find them and practice against the clock. So where can I get the money? Well, you can get it from your, your employer. Um, if you're in Ireland, there's a system called Skillnet, which may be open to you if your employer is a member of a Skillnet. Skillnets are organizations for training where the members are companies, not individuals, or, or you can pay it yourself. So here are my six um, suggestions. Get your employer to pay the fees. That's probably the best one. Um, encourage them to join a skill net so that they get a cut as well. Um, basically, they're getting tax money back if they do it that way, so they might find it more attractive. You could go straight to a, a skill net and ask them, say, is our company a, mem a mem member? Maybe you could pick up contact and encourage the company. If the company profile matches the skill net profile, there's about 70. And some of them are um, based on districts or regions, and some of them are based on sectors. You might recruit colleagues and uh, who also want to do PMP and then apply. And if you do that, then you could, you, you could uh, seek a discount. You normally would get a, six, a discount for you know, eight or 10 people, something like that. You could join PMI and um, then the exam fee is cheaper. Uh, that's another way of doing it. And also you can download the PMBOK guide, the Project Management Body of Knowledge Guide for free. And it's good for study because it's electronic and you can search it. Um, and uh, that can save you time as well, or you can pay it out of your own money. So here are some of the skill nets, um, IFS, International Financial Services, for example. And um, if you want to go through them, you would go straight to the skill net and, uh, you know, ask for us, as it were. And then the, 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 the payments and invoicing and so on be done between the companies. Um, uh, there are quite a number of skill nets that are, that are offering uh, our services as you can see there. So um, what uh, Scatterwork does uh, through the skill nets is that um, you can not only have the individual application, um, but you might have a group of people and the decision maker is, is uh, welcome if they say that they'd like to visit a live course and um, see how it works and so on and talk about it. We're happy to, to arrange that for, to pick out an hour and they can pick from any course from our catalog. How do you do the scheduling? Well, on our website, you'll find this here. Um, the book now is the button that brings you to the place where you can put in your credit card um, if you're not doing it by invoice. 
the the format some of them are going to be five days some are going to be 10 evenings and so on so you need to read that and start and finish dates and then the, there's a panel here on the website and it shows universal time and then the time in the zone of your computer so if you're it might turn out that um, a course is running and it's at a time of day that suits you that um that actually where the core people are on it are, are in a different time zone. But that doesn't matter to you. You just need to know what time it is for yourself. So if you have any queries, obviously, you can contact me. And um, thanks very much for your interest.